Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps and today I want to give you a quick rundown of key tracking uh, and explain some of the features for you. This is a beginner video just to understand um, how the application works. So to go to key tracking, the first thing you do is you go to your application once you've registered tab and you go to key tracking. That loads this page. The first time after you have registered, you will not see any tracking number or anything here um, for that matter. And this is because as soon as you access the app for the first time, not when you register, but when you first access the application, we, uh, we are able to start importing some data from, from eBay. And it takes a little bit of time, uh, sometime close to an hour uh, when our server is really busy to do this. So as soon as uh, information will start to pop up, tracking number and everything will get updated. And you will get a view like this where you get all of your item. Uh, some of them might be late. Some of them might be um, in yellow or red or normal color depending on their status. So this is the first view here. And I'm going to try to explain a little bit how to configure uh, everything into the system. So the first thing that you should do uh, once you've registered is go to um, the config tab here and go to tracking. This tab here uh, will define the colors that will be had added to, uh, to that report here. So for example if I go back to config tracking here, a warning, which is yellow, for the post office will be issued if a package is older uh, than five days or has been in transit for five days and it has not been delivered. As soon as it's delivered, it's off the grid. It will turn red if it's urgent. Now, if it's an international package, it will turn yellow after 20 days and red after 30 days we can have the item being marked as delivered when we receive feedback from the buyer. Sometimes the post office does not um, scan them on delivery, but it, you, can, um, you can assume that if you've received feedback, then the item was delivered. You could be emailed when there's a warning, meaning when it turns yellow, either for five day or 20 day for international, or when it's urgent, which means it turns red um, after seven days or 30 days here. Now, with every uh, message, and I will show you later how to, you can put variables like this in the message. So this one is bracket, bracket, tracking number message, closing bracket, bracket. What this variable will do is if there is a tracking number in the system, it will replace it by this message. Your item is shipped via shipping use. So in this case, it would be USPS. You can track the item by clicking on this link. And this is a link to uh, the USPS with the tracking number. Here we'll display the tracking number. This is the end of the link and or by putting this tracking number in your UPS website. If there is no tracking number, then it will display this, which is blank. You might want to come here and say, um, we do not have a tracking number at this time, but we will let you know as soon as we do. That's an option that you can do. Now all of those here are for USPS, the United States Post Office. You have the exact same settings here for UPS. For example, for me for UPS, I find that uh, my urgent or warning and urgent are better suited like this with four and six days. I don't care to be warned the message is a little bit different because here you can see that it links to UPS instead of linking to the post office, but the system will recognize it. And same thing if it's FedEx, you'll get a little different message and you have all of those options. 
So now I'm going to go into uh, the next thing that you can do is go to config and email uh, SMTP configuration. Here is the big catch here. You do not have to use SMTP. If you do not use SMTP and you leave it unchecked, email goes out v uh, via OR system. So it goes out as us, pretty much. And if there's a, somebody replies to an email, the system catches that and forwards that to you. But in most cases, for example, like me, I am interested in, instead of having the email coming as Kiwi sent you a tracking number, I want the email to come from myself, from jcdust at jcdust.com. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking this use your SMTP and I set my options here. Now, what are those options? It's fairly complicated uh, depending on which SMTP it is. So uh, we've set up some example here. If you click on this page, it will redire redirect you to uh, an article that we have where we try to put all of the, all of the one that we know of. And uh, we've also added some here that will automatically set settings for you, like do, does it need to be using SMTP security or the port? Now the username and password is up to you. Um, you have to know your username and password. Sometime, some of the system like uh, Roadrunner or Comcast, for example, they do not want to have that at the end. I know that Gmail does, so that's why I put it here. With the the from email, you could have your from email just being uh, an email like this. But if you add the closing um, HTML bracket or greater than, lower than, and you put um, a name in front, now in the when the person receives the email, it will show that it came from JC Dust instead of just showing it came from the email. That's a plus. And once you've set that up, you can test it, send yourself an email to see if it works. And if it works, you will receive an email uh, that tells you that it worked. If you don't get that email, then it doesn't work. Um, later on this year, we'll be working on uh, trying to simplify this a little bit, but we haven't got to that yet. Uh, there's a few links to how to's down here. The uh, gadget, I'm not going to go into it for, uh, for now. I will do that later. Uh, buyer blacklist. What are buyer blacklists? Let's say um, you, know, you have a buyer like this person here, for example, that requested to be removed from email. They don't want to get email from me. So they've been added to the buyer uh, eBay ID blacklist. Now, uh, one of the things that's important is when you add somebody, make sure there are no space. If you leave a space at the end like this because you copy-paste, it looks for a name with that space at the end. And it could be confusing because then it's not going to find, let's see, Joe space. It's not going to find Joe because it's looking for Joe space. So make sure that you don't have any spaces here. And the comment is just for you to write whatever you want. Uh, so now let's go to uh, the messages that can be sent. So tracking message, uh, the US status one is a message that we decide when it wants to be uh, sent to the buyer. So I have this message set to uh, blank carbon copy me and it's enable and it will send it after one day. Now one day of what? Well, if you look here, it says that if you, um, let's see, this email, st the status email is sent. So here, one would replace here, one day after the item has shipped. Why do I send it one day after the item has shipped and not right away? Well, it's to manage expectations. Basically, um, my buyers in their mind will remember that oh, not long ago I got an, an, an email that it shipped, and now I just received it. That was fast. If I was to send the email right away and, and put zero days here, it adds a day to it. By you know, putting this one day, let's say today I ship um, one of my wigs at 3 o'clock p.m. 
the postman really is not picking it up till noon the, the next day and it probably doesn't enter the system till the day after so if I had put zero here it would notify them right away that I shipped but it's not really in the system and I'm losing a day not on the eBay tracking or anything like that but on their expectation so this helps manage your expectation here big time so uh, in, in this message so the first message which is tracking US will be sent to only US customers uh, it will have a header here which is an image and a little nice message and here's this tracking message that we were talking about earlier you can also add variables like bracket bracket name it will replace it by their name the title the title of the item seller ID that's your seller ID and the system will replace that you can also add you know links down there there's another video that I've done earlier that shows you how to do this this little design here but so this email tracking message one is going to be sent one day after uh, the item is shipped so I'm using that as my notice for your item is shipped but you you could really use this for something else if you would want to market some other item you could say you know send it three days later and say hey your item is in transit for example you can use those messages for what you want um, in all of my apps I try to separate international users as US users because they don't have all the same requirements uh, they don't all need to know the same thing uh, US status 2 is a second message that is being sent so many days after the first message was sent so if you're not using the first message this will not go out I do not have this one enabled because I do not want to send this message to my buyers for US um, only however for international buyers for example I have this one enabled 13 days after the first item which after the first uh, message was sent the first international message was sent which is about 14 days and even though I have no clue with my tracking number because a lot of you uh, that ship first class international knows that you can't track your item internationally I'm sending them a message that says hey it's going through the custom and I'm not telling them of course that I have no idea where it is but I'm just saying hey it's great it's clearing the custom you know be patient it will be there that helps my international buyer feel confident about my my service so those are the tracking message now post delivery this is when the item is being marked as delivered by the post office or FedEx or uh, UPS so in this message here there's no time delay because it's being sent when it's delivered and it basically here says hey look you know I've been informed that um, your item has been delivered I just want to make sure you you received it you could customize this to be whatever you want I tend to make it simple here because this is where people usually um, tell me that I have great customer service because of this and same thing when it's delivered for international you can have a different message happens to be the same for me here but you could have a different message tracking status this is an other view as the home view here that gives you um, status on all of your item when an I it's important to know that when an item is delivered or marked as delivered because right here we said mark as delivered when we receive feedback when it's marked delivered it disappears from the list here our system stops tracking stop emailing people it's delivered that's the end of it that's the end point the entry points for the system is when you ship an item we pick up the tracking number as long as the tracking number is uploaded in eBay and the end point is when the item is delivered now somebody asked me the other day how do I uh, sync all of my items and how do I make sure that my tracking number go to your application and and and, and are synced if your tracking number is in eBay 
uh, it being uploaded by a third-party software that you use, it being uploaded by yourself manually, uh, it being shipped on eBay. As long as the tracking number is on eBay, we pick it up. You have how-to videos that links you to this YouTube channel here that will tell you, um, that will show you those videos, <laughs> I guess. Uh, now, the last thing that I want to show you is this gadget feature here. There is not much um, to it. Display international shipment, no. Display the edit field, no, I don't want to. And the num maximum number per page is going to be 99. Now, where does this uh, gadget shows up? If you go to uh, Selling Manager, you need to have Selling Manager to use those gadgets. And let's see, I clicked on it. Maybe I need to click harder. There you go. This here, this view here, is the gadget that I'm talking about. Now, on this gadget, for example, I do not care to see my international buyers because it gets to be um, way too cumbersome. I just want to see, you know, right here from my dashboard, is there something that I need to you know to look at why why is this going on here that it's not that it's just shipping status uploaded so I could come here I see the tracking number I could click on this little icon it will open uh, the post office and it will try to figure out you know delivery status not updated so this is one you know was out for delivery this is one where I might want to ping the customer and say, hey, you know, just want to make sure you received it. And if they say no, well, then I'm going to call the post office and try to figure out what's going on with it because delivery status is not updated. It's in, it's in yellow. And if it l uh, waits too long, it will turn into uh, red. If you, uh, you have the user ID here, and if you need more detail and you click on the user ID here and you have selling manager, it will take you to this uh, view and I probably should resize the picture here. I'm gonna have to look into that. That gives you information about your um, Transaction here and it doesn't look great, but I'm gonna work on resizing this picture here a little bit So I hope this helps again. This is uh, key tracking at the time of this video. We're on version uh, 1.2 here while I'm here. I'm gonna show you a little trick if you click on the 1.2 here it takes you to a page where we show you what we've implemented in versions and sometimes what we're working on. So I ha hope this helps uh, some of you that were wondering how key tracking works. And if you have any question, come on below, email me, uh, like our videos, forward them to people that are asking, uh, and we'd be happy to help anybody. Thank you.